Hey everybody, welcome to another Things and Stuff review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Yamato 2199 Mega Collection number 6, uh, Lascaux, Lascaux, L A S C A U X class, uh, twin uh, missile ship from uh, 2199, and originally from the uh, second series, second season of the original space battleship Yamato and it looks like a really nice redesign of that ship. It's nice and streamlined and sharp and looks pretty mean. Uh, on the side here we have the um, uh, Gamulus Destroyer, uh, Lambia Carrier, the uh, Dreadnought, D Dessler Dreadnought, and the uh, Kukul Khan uh, Destroyer. So, and this guy retails for 400 yen, but you can get him for about 320 yen on the Hobby Link Japan website. And let's check out the directions first. Uh, looks like we assemble the top superstructure first, and then the main hull, and then piece it all together with the bottom uh, part down there. I don't remember in the, sh the new show if these are still missiles or not, so I guess we will have to wait for Arc of Stars, uh, the new movie, uh, to uh, see what happens. Because these guys really just got blown up in uh, in the show, and it was pretty entertaining. It had the Comet Empire music and everything. So it looks like we got four runners, so uh, let's crack it open. All right, so we'll start off with the A A1 runner, and it looks like we got the uh, top white part of the uh, hull, and we got parts of the front missile areas and we got the uh, rotating beam cannon thing so I think that's the engine no that's not part of the engine what's that part of I don't know some pokey thing oh I guess that's the front of the other the top missile I guess and then we've got uh, some antenna and part of the core area oh, I guess it's on the bottom oh, it goes right there so pretty nice pretty nice detail and then also kind of cool they mold it in well let's focus here they molded in the little honeycomb uh, thing in there, so that would be nice. Paint it uh, orange, and then you could ink into those lines or um, dry brush it on. Pretty nice. Very nice detail. And next we have A2. We got the base, uh, part of the engines, uh, part of the superstructure and bridge, uh, part of the back engines and all that. Uh, B1, we have the, uh, I guess that's the bottom, bottom of the uh, uh, main hull, engines, uh, more green parts, the um, area for holding the other missile area, and another antenna. And on B2, we have a big-ass load of uh, rotating turrets, and the top part of the main hull with some very nice pokey things sticking out of it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about building this guy. Uh, as far as right out of the box, simple painting. Looks like you're going to want to paint the um, orange pieces, which it has a couple of. Of course the bridge windows, but um, might be a little gray area right there. Or at least just uh, ink it dark. Let's see if I can find that one. that mm, kind of see so I can get in there oh there we go yeah this area right well let's see there we go this area right there could probably do some nice inking so uh, let's uh, put it together and see what happens all right and here it is all finished I apologize for the noise in advance we've got the uh, 3d printer going um, but uh, here it is all built up uh, I realized I missed a couple little paint apps uh, according to the box art but I will definitely go back and correct those. Uh, you can see there, these uh, little circles are supposed to be dark gray, and so are those little triangles. And uh, I believe this little inset piece is also, but uh, I'll definitely go back and fix those. But like I said, uh, just a simple paint job, or not even a paint job, just a, a marking job. And uh, use the uh, various Gundam models. I used uh, gray uh, Gundam markers. Uh, is the word I was looking for. Uh, I used gray for all of the inset line details and then I went and used the uh, Gundam uh, panel line marker uh, yellow for all the little honeycomb effects. 
Um, what else to say? If you're talking about articulation, the uh, turrets do kind of, some of them rotate. They do, they do. I don't know why you'd need them to. These ones are actually a lot sturdier than the, uh, the, um, the destroyer ship. Or this guy right here. So, very nice detail, of course. Not sure what else to say about it. Definitely pick it up. Nice little stand, of course. Uh, let us compare it to the original kit. And this one I built, I don't know how many years ago, so it does not look anything like it probably should. But uh, you can see we've got different... Oops. One second. Yeah, we've got different box arts. Zoom out just a tad. There we go. Let's see that. I've got this directions on the inside. And this one advertises the first uh, five in the original Yamato set. But very, very different design. I mean, this one had missiles all over it. Uh, it had kind of a, just the front honeycomb effect. This one's a lot more subtle, but there's a couple more of them. Uh, this one just went with the traditional guns, and then, like I said, this one is just cluttered with missiles. Even the bridge is a missile, it looks like, and these were missiles on the ship. So, and here's that one, and uh, don't mind the uh, uh, fighter that's just lazing around in there. So there you go. Of course, I don't have them painted the same color, but you can really see the new design direction they kind of went with it. Instead of having outstretched uh, traditional battleship style guns, of course they went with the rotating turrets. Uh, very bizarre engine structure back here. Much better done on this one. Of course they didn't do the engine detail on that. But another neat little thing, it's got the ship name imprinted on the base. But also a very nice kit. Um, this one's a little more complicated than the other original kits, whereas you've got all these little detail parts to glue on. Um, you know, careful when putting all those little antennae on. Just might accidentally knock them off. Also, the base is not uh, down the center, which is kind of interesting. Plugs into the side, but it's not really noticeable when you're just looking at it at uh, probably regular shelf level. So. But yeah, that is about it for uh, the Lazcow, Lazcox, whatever it is, uh, Comet Empire, Gatlantis, uh, formerly Missile Destroyer, now just, I don't know, Cruiser, Battle Cruiser, something like that. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for, well, yeah. gonna lose an antennae there. Not to worry, it just, if I can get it, pick it up, it just fits right back in there. Whoop, there we go. Anyway, so uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, feel free to check out the other uh, ship reviews for the Yamato Mecha Collection. And uh, we will see you next time.